I was so scared, like, <laughs> standing up here. It's like one false move and I'm falling down this cliff. Hey, how's it going? It's Carl, AKA Carl Drum Tech. I'm here right now at Palos Verdes Peninsula here in California. And today I want to talk about a blog I recently posted on Drumlines of America. And the topic of that blog is when I posted the video on Instagram and I invited everybody to critique that video for their own benefit to help them improve their critique skills so that they can really learn how to critique their own playing, help to critique the, uh, the players around them if they're in the drum line, and it's just overall hopefully a good experience for everybody involved to learn and to grow, right? So the thing is, <laughs> I normally don't uh, post videos and allow people for comment to comment on them in terms of just giving critique, right? I consider myself an instructor, I consider myself a very experienced player, and sometimes, right, it's it's like we don't, people like us, people who are experienced, people who are, you know, are instructor level, we don't take critique as well, right? Because like we do have an ego that we build up. It's part of being human, right? You, know, you have a lot of experience, you have a lot of, um, you know, accolades, and you have the stature about you, and critique can kind of bring that down. So we can be very defensive in terms of, you know, if people critique us and critique our playing. And I think this is one of the reasons why, you know, instructor level people don't necessarily put out a video out there, because it's like, hey, if people can, can, can critique us, you know, how can we um, be considered instructors if we have so many flaws? And I learned so much from doing this exercise in terms of just like how I relate to my ego, how it hurts me, and how like it's just, I'm really not okay with my flaws, right? So, and I think the thing that we need to think about, especially if you're an instructor level, or if you are a, you know, a highly experienced player or not, you know, it's like the thing that hurts us the most in many ways is our ego, okay? It's one thing to have confidence, it's one thing to be sure of ourselves, but it's another thing when we have this pride about us that can really hold us back when people have something constructive to say that can you know, help us get better and uh, you know, our, our ego gets hurt and we may turn off from that critique because our ego is like basically like butthurt over you know the commentary right it's like you know oh I'm not as good as I thought I was so maybe I might dismiss somebody's uh, criticism because you know we're just because we're hurt right so I think I learned so many things from this and I think you guys watching today can really benefit from what I've learned in that you know even no matter what experience level you are you know yes it's gonna hurt because you're human but you gotta like step out of outside of that so that you can help yourself get better overall. And I think that's good for anybody, right? And the other thing too is that, you know, accept your flaws, accept that you're not perfect. Nobody is, right? No matter what level you're at, there's always something that you could be doing better. You have to accept that, you know, sometimes you'll make mistakes, sometimes you're not perfect, and you have to be okay with that. And it doesn't mean that you can't teach. It doesn't mean that you can't be uh, like a person of high stature in any kind of activity. Um, so just look at it that way, okay? It's just like, it's okay to be, you know, not perfect. And that's the thing I have to con that I have to convince myself as well, which this exercise has really helped me overall, right? So here's a couple steps that I took in order for me to kind of like, to help me out with the, criti the criticism I received when I posted that video, when I said, hey, go ahead and have at it, enjoy it, you know, critique, critique me, critique my playing, and let's go. So. Uh, I posted that video, the critiques definitely rolled in, there was a lot of them, and uh, there's a couple things that helped me in terms of like how I took that in in a positive way. Number one, um, I waited about a week or two to respond, and that helped me a lot because just like with any kind of negative feeling you may have, you might feel sad, you might feel angry, you might feel frustrated, the thing that really cures it, one of the things that really cures it very well is time, right? It's like, you know, after some time, you stop being mad, you stop being upset, you stop being hurt, okay? It's like that really helps you out in terms of just like getting over it. It's just like after a while, after a couple days you sleep on it, it's like, okay, it's not, it's not as bad anymore. It's not, it doesn't hurt as much. So waiting a week for me to respond really helped me out because otherwise, if I would have responded right away, the way my ego was taking those comments, I might have been defensive, I might have, you know, like, uh, be, been very, uh, you, I might not have taken it in to consideration. I might say just straight up that you're wrong. I might even, you know, at the very best, I might give, give a cheeky response you know, just because I'm a little bit hurt by the comment. But hey, you know, it's like, again, what I'm trying to say is don't be hurt by co those comments. Definitely take it into consideration. And that's the second thing that helped
help me is to just like consider all critique, consider all commentary as good feedback, as something that's going to help you. Really consider it, really listen to, to what they're saying and consider what they're saying and really ask yourself, hey, is this person right? And really think about it without having any ego about it. Take the ego out and you know, just see yourself you know, for what, for what you are and how you're playing it, not because you're this high stature person, not because you're super experienced, not because you're center, you're center snare of whatever drum line, doesn't matter, right? And that's, and leading up to the third thing that really helped me out in terms of like how to take this in is that I watched the video of me playing, right? The, the video I posted where I invited people to, to critique and I just looked at it as another person, as if that person wasn't me, like this is some other dude, right? So I looked at it and then once I saw that it wasn't me, it made me more open to the critique because I can take, I can, I can read the comment and go, hey, that person really is rushing this part. Or that person really is, you know, uh, really high with their tap heights here. Or, you know, the sound quality of this one tap wasn't as good as the rest. It's like you can really take that in because that's not me, right? It's like, but if it is you, you can kind of take things personal and just be like, oh, like, I suck, but no, I don't. I have to be defensive. No, you know, like, I, my heights are good. You know, my heights are perfect. My sound quality is good. Like, you know, I, I do have good timing. If you take yourself out of it, you can really see your, you know, what it is, you know, fully. Um, you know, and I think that helps in life in general in that, you know, it's really hard to see outside of yourself. Um, it, sometimes it really takes an outside perspective to give you the perspective of what you truly are. And I think that, uh, you know, that really comes into play in terms of like teaching you to have self-awareness is to kind of take the ego out of it and really be aware of who you are as you are rather than what you think you are, rather than where you think you should be or what kind of stature you have, right? Really, that's, I think that is absolutely the key is to just be able to step outside yourself and have that self-awareness. I think that is super important. And that's really gonna help you out in life. That's really gonna help you out in drumming in terms of just, you can take in the critique, you can take in, you know, whatever people have to say, you know, that you could be doing better and really consider it and really be like, oh, okay, yeah, I think you're right. Yes, I think this can apply to me. Yes, I, I think if I try this out, it's gonna really help me out. And that is going to expand, you know, your overall skill level in anything that you do in life. So, you know, whatever critique, whatever the critique is, if it's negative, if it's positive, take it in learn from it and use it to your advantage so you can get ahead in life and in drumming. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. Hopefully you enjoy this amazing view here behind me. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. You know, I live in Torrance and it's just so close by. It's just absolutely in my backyard and I'm so fortunate to be here and uh, to be able to have, uh, to, to have a video like this where I can just kind of, you know, post this camera and then uh, be afraid of falling down the cliff. <laughs> just kidding. Anyways, um, again, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please make sure you like the video. It helps out the channel. So make sure you do that. If you have a comment or a question, please leave it, leave it in the comments below. Uh, I would love to hear from you if you feel like, you know, there are times when you feel like your own ego has held you back or has hurt you in terms of like how you can get, you know, better and progress. Um, or if you have any questions overall, please make sure you leave that as well. And uh, if you think somebody could benefit from this video, maybe you have a friend or, or a fellow drumline member who is having trouble taking a critique, um, make sure that you share this video with them as well to help them out. I would, I would really appreciate it if you did that, so uh, please do that if you know somebody who could benefit from this video. Post it up on your social media, whatever the case may be. And finally, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. I would really appreciate that as well. And uh, I always appreciate it when people subscribe, like, comment, and do all that stuff, and engage. I love it. This is the fuel that runs this channel, so make sure you guys do that. And uh, again, I can't thank you enough, so I really appreciate it, especially if you've been watching this video. If you've watched my other videos, I really do appreciate it. So thank you so much. Uh, you guys uh, have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Let's do a quick little breakdown of a really complicated bar like this. So how would you break that down? Well, I would break it down really freaking slow and I would take it one count at a time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it at 100 beats per minute and I'm going to start just from the very first count. 
Then once I establish that, I'm gonna add another count. And then once those two counts are together, add another count, add another count. Every single time I know when it starts and when it ends. This way I know where the beat is, where the beat falls every single time. And this is gonna help me out with my tempo management and interpretation, okay? So like I said, let's start it at 100 beats per minute. And I'm just gonna start from the very first count. So let's start with the first count. One more time. Let's add another count to that. One more time. Let's add another count to that. One more time. Now let's add another count. One more time. Let's add another count to that. Let's add another count to that. One more time. Now let's add the final count. One more time. And there you have it. And now let's take a little bit faster, just in the interest of time. Let's just really bump it up to about 138. And here we go. Okay, and that is all made possible by taking it really slow, Make sure I understand where each count is every single time, making note of it so that helps me with my tempo, that helps me with my interpretation, and then just slowly bump it up little by little until I get to a nice comfortable speed and then you create that quality that I just played there. At least I think it's quality. All right, so cool. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully you found that helpful and I'll see you guys next time.